one wants him in the games until he dies to play. Acknowledge. Acknowledge, Master Control. End of line. The Tex Instruments TI-994A was my very first home computer I had gotten back in 1980 from Crazy Eddie's. It had great graphics and sound capabilities for its day. In fact, it was the very first home computer to offer a 16-bit microprocessor, although the way TI implemented it really crippled its speed. The TI also offered a speech synthesizer add-on, which was great for educational and gaming, of course, and also offered the first speech recognition through the Milton Bradley MBX expansion interface. Getting this computer after my original Atari 2600, I wanted to try some of the more advanced games that computers could offer. Here are some of my favorite games for the text instruments. Press fire to begin. Alert. Alien crash advancing. <laughs> Now around this time frame, Donkey Kong was a big hit and it was definitely a hit with me. So as I was playing this, which is an Atari soft port to the Tex Instruments TI-994A, it is pretty close to the original. Only some things weren't there, like the way Donkey Kong uh, wasn't moving, uh, and some animation. But overall, it was a very good port and very close to the original arcade. But I started thinking to myself, maybe this is something I can do. Maybe I can make something a little bit better and improve on what was missing from the Atari Soft port. And the one thing I will say about the Atari Soft port was they did include all four screens, which was a rarity. Even the, the Nintendo NES port only had three screens. Only a couple of systems, like the Coleco Adams Super Game version of Donkey Kong and the Tierra City Color Computer Donkey King, that I recall had all four screens. Now back in 1983, I was only 14 years old, but I thought to myself, maybe I can create my own video game. I mean, I have a computer, I have TI Extended Basic, which gave me sprite capabilities and some other advanced programming features. So I set out to program my version of Donkey Kong, which was, at that time, my favorite video game. Now, disk drives themselves were pretty reliable at this point, but the media was a little more hit and miss, and unfortunately, it has not survived the test of time. Over 30 years of sitting here, uh, a lot of the code got damaged on the media, so what I'm going to show you is the only surviving screens and code from my version of Donkey Kong. I'm hoping to try and restore the diskette and get my code back, or find my original manual and recreate the entire game code and release that to the community. But for now, these are the only screens that actually survived. Here we're going to see the uh, Pi Factory, which the TI-994 a computer from AtariSoft did have, uh, but a lot of versions of Donkey Kong did not have this screen. So I was actually very proud to have created this one. As you can see, their sprites are working and the actual backgrounds here, but none of the collisions work. No Jumpman, no Donkey Kong, no Daisy, and no Fireball. So right now I'm just going to break out of the program and do a listing to show you the code that I had created um, and I was able to recover off the floppy disk. Here's my uh, elevator stage. As you can see, the background survived and the elevators, the sprites are working. But again, no collision, no Donkey Kong, no Daisy, no Jumpman, Fireball, or any of the special items. This next screen will be the last one I was able to recover off the floppy disk. It's the construction site uh, girder screen. The sprites are here, which are the hammers and the rivets. Um, the background obviously is here. Again, no sound, no Jumpman, Donkey Kong, Daisy, or special items. Again, I'll do a quick listing here and just list the code needed for this particular screen.
Now with the screen here, I end my video, but hopefully it's not the end of the story for this particular game. I hope I can recreate it and show it to you again real soon.